This is our open the box video for the new 100 watt LED landscape transformer. We have additional videos on this new product that drill down on the Wi-Fi enabled photo cell use, as well as timers and how they're all used. Make sure you check them out. They will save you time, money, and frustration. For now, I'm going to address what you'll see when you open the box the transformer comes in. Our new transformer comes in a box that looks just like this. And inside you're gonna find it packed very, very well. This is called Ethafoam, and it has Ethafoam padding. Inside the box, you'll find that the power cable is usually wrapped in a bubble wrap bag. And over here on the side are some general instructions, as well as some um, screws and uh, fittings so you can mount on the, the wall. Inside the bag is a really important QR code. That's it right there. If you put your telephone on that, your smartphone, uh, you can scan that and it'll open up all the instructions and all the details and all the videos for this transformer. So let's put that aside and let's look at the rest. So I'm gonna take this, uh, you can see it's a stainless steel box in here. It's very robust. I'm gonna take this box and flip it over. Just makes it easier. And here's the cord, I'm gonna flip it back. I'm gonna take the bag off the cord. And now you can get an idea of what it looks like. Take the end foam pieces off. And I'll give you a tour here of what you can see. So um, it's a stainless steel box. It uh, has two little screws, one on each side. You gotta watch out, sometimes these little screws may fall somewhere inside the box. It loosened itself up. Usually this doesn't happen, but it can. So I'm gonna loosen up the other side just because. So let's look at the box. There's a knockout like this on each side. You can see it here. That's knockouts for um, options. There's one on this side for the photo cell. There's four on the bottom and there's an access cover. It's plastic. Undo the screws on each side. There's one here and here. Just loosen them, don't take them all the way out. And that will allow you to flip this cover up, slide it out of position and flip it over. On this side also, you'll find the QR code, which is right here. And that brings you to all kinds of information. And general information is, is right here, as well as the ETL label, which is very, very important. This transformer is rated for both indoor and outdoor use. So if you want to mount it in your garage, you're good to go. So basically it's a, um, a heavy gauge stainless steel. It's not lightweight at all. Um, it's corrosion and rust resistant. And we did this because our customers asked for it. It's indescript. It'll mount on your wall somewhere outside your house in the bushes. And I don't think anyone will bother it there. So now with the cover open, we did mention the cord. The cord's about five feet long. Uh, more details, of course, on our website. Um, it varies a little bit, but generally it's five feet long. It's, it goes in the bottom here. A couple of things I want you to notice still with the case is this little notch here. And uh, this notch allows you to take your landscape wire and actually bring it out the notch if you don't want to use the knockouts in the bottom. And that's why they did that. And that's why that notch there um, exists. So this is a wire that I pre-wired. I'm going to show you a little bit more on that in just a second. So I want to talk about the um, inside plug and the inside socket as well as the indicator lights. So inside the unit is a plug and socket. So here's the plug. It's a right angled plug and it's made to go in this socket. It is set up so it has polarity. You can see one side of the plug is a little larger than the other. The socket's positioned carefully uh, for Wi-Fi devices. So your home automation system can work in this. And we have a very detailed video on how to make it work and how to test it. So I'm gonna plug this back in here for now. Uh, that's where it usually lives. And I wanna note there's two indicator lights here. Indicator lights are really, really important. It's because of all the questions we've got over the years regarding whether or not the transformer is working properly. When you plug the unit in, as long as this is here, when you plug the unit in, it'll tell you right away if we have 120 volts coming to the unit, household, regular household current. So with that light on and this plugged in, you're good to go. The second light you're gonna look for is the output light. If the second light's on, that means you're generating 12 volts and there's 12 volts coming down here to the terminal bus. And I'm gonna reposition here in a minute so you can see down in here. Also inside the housing is a uh, photo cell plug and this little device unplugs, it's a jumper. It needs to be in place when you're running this without a photo cell. 
And the photo cell would attach here on the right side to the knockout. There's the knockout down there you might be able to see. And it'll plug into this position. It's already pre-wired to do that. So that's an important thing there too. There is of course, very simple design here. Um, there's no electronics in this package. There's nothing to fry. There's no lithium batteries or anything like that. And if you want to see transformers and the problems they have with lithium batteries, you'll be able to access our website and see why you don't want that. Hopefully I've positioned the transformer up a little bit so you can see the angle here inside. And I want to show you some other features that are really, really important. So down here is a um, reset button. And this pops out a little bit when you have a short in your landscape lighting line somewhere. So if that button's out, that means it's not producing electricity, then your lights aren't working. So the test for that is to remove your landscape lighting wire that's going out to the field, remove it here, push the button back in and see if the lights come back on and if you're producing electricity. If when you put this back on, it pops out again, you have a short out in the field and that needs to be addressed. And we can talk about that in our other videos and we do. Also, while I have this up in position, I wanna talk about the access plastic part in the bottom. There's a plastic part right in here and I'm gonna take my screwdriver and there's these little nubs on this thing. Just, you just press them, press them out and the little plastic guy flips out. Now sometimes while it's in there, I mean, here's the little two things I pressed on right here. I just pressed them in with my screwdriver, it popped right out. They might be sideways like this or even upside down. Just take it and rotate it inside, press those down, it'll pop out. There's two sets of them. There's two here and there's two here. You only need to press on two of them to get it out. Very, very simple. What that does is it allows me to put my fingers in here, which makes the pull process a lot easier for dealing with the terminal bus. See, I can grab the wires and I can adjust accordingly. So I wanna talk a little bit more about the terminals. We chose this terminal block because it's incredibly simple and easy to see. And there's a lot of things out there that are really fancy. They add a little more cost. They're not required. They're difficult to use or what have you. This is just plain simple. And you can see here that I've terminated my landscape wires, common and 12 volt, going out to my landscape lights out in the field, terminated them here, and they're very secure. They're gonna, they're gonna stay in here. They're not gonna get loose as long as you originally tighten them down good and there's not too many problems. So let me take these out while we're talking about the terminals. I wanna take them again, reach my fingers in here. Look how easy that was. So here they are. And these little terminal guys are included in your kit here. And they'll, they'll come, they're gonna put them in the box when it ships. You're gonna strip your wire back. You can kind of see where I've stripped it back there maybe. You're gonna put it in here and crimp it shut. Here's the crimper that I got at Harbor Freight. It's really basic. It's good for crimping. It's not my favorite for stripping, but it works. You strip down here and you crimp up here. I do have some kind of nicer tools, but this works. You don't need to go spend a million dollars on something to make landscape lighting work. So they're connected here. Um, and this is important. We get asked all the time. You can put more than one set. So you can run this out, say, to the front yard and run another one out to the side yard and another one out to the backyard. And as long as you don't exceed 100 watts, everything's gonna be fine. Now, there is a 15 volt option here where you would run it this way. If you're running really long loads out there in the field and you need a little extra voltage boost. Now, we have a video on landscape lighting voltage loss where we did a real field test and we address this 15 volt. I don't want you to connect to it right away. I want you to always start with the 12 in common. And then if you have voltage loss at the first light fixture, you're gonna move the 15 volts like I have it wired here. So please take a look at that, that video. It really goes into some really, really good detail. And again, take that, take that wire, route it through here, take your plastic plug, put it back in, it just snaps in place. Really simple. We built this transformer to be simple and to be kind of foolproof, but still have the options, and you'll see them in the next video, of a timer, a photo cell, and a Wi-Fi device, so you can control it with your existing home automation system. And finally, with the cover back on, and it just slides into place, again, keeping the simple thing, 
as you can see here, it has heavy duty mounting brackets so you can mount this securely up against your house or wherever you need to put it. In our next video, we will plug it in and perform the initial test you should perform right away. You'll become an instant expert. And at this link, you'll find all the specs, all the other videos, and how to test, install, and work with photo cells, timers, and Wi-Fi devices, and how to put your entire system together. Together, we can make your landscape lighting magical. We're a small family business and hope that no matter where you shop, you consider buying from a small business. We are Total Lighting Supply and we know lighting. We've been doing it for 30 years plus. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions on our products, please feel free to ask us. Use this email address for quick communication. Support at TotalLightingSupply.com we answer product questions all day long, Monday through Friday. However, if you ask questions on YouTube, it may be some time before we see it. Our videos are designed as an overview of our products, and we recommend hiring a qualified electrician for your project to ensure a safe installation. And as always, see the description for links to our website. See the product description on our website for important details, as well as updates and specifications. Also, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new product information. We offer information such as this video and a level of service you will not find anywhere else. Consider using us for your project needs. All of us at Total Lighting Supply hope to hear from you soon.